Chairperson and the Honorable Members. I have taken all the questions and I will be asking my officers, uh, specific officers, to answer uh, the questions. But uh, to start off, Honorable Chairperson, uh, uh, the question from uh, my friend, Ms. Mewa Gitonga Mukunji, Dr. Otieno, you are preparing to answer that one about uh, the pre-release verification, whether it was done, the uh, service provider, whether there was due diligence. Same to Honorable uh, Nabi, uh, kind of similar, uh, Dr. Otieno, uh, uh, whether testing was done, and all questions relating to SMS will be answered by that officer. And also, uh, uh, quite a number of questions are accurate on, on that. Uh, but uh, I want to say that uh, when this happened, on uh, our chairperson, uh, when this anomaly happened with uh, the SMS, I think there was a statement which same day came from NEC, uh, the CEO, indicating that uh, we had encountered that particular problem. Personally, in the various forums, I've also said we realized that there was a problem that we tried to remedy that particular same day, including when I had a meeting with uh, members of parliament from the pastoral communities. Uh, on Monday, I think I did come out very clear uh, on this. Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, uh, from uh, Honorable Thoroitich, Maraquet, I want to state here that uh, we are aware about uh, the tribunal uh, and uh, Honorable Chairperson, I've done a letter because we are supposed to have five members in that tribunal. The chairperson is supposed to be nominated by the Judicial Service Commission of the competitive process, which they have now done following the letter I did uh, to them. I have now a name. And uh, also, we are supposed to have representatives from among other bodies, the Kenya Primary School Heads Association, uh, the Kenya Secondary Schools, uh, the, uh, the Primary Association, and then the Kenya uh, Secondary Schools Heads Association, the Technical and Vocational Education Authority, and also one representative from NEC. I've done that and I undertake before this committee that uh, uh, any time uh, uh, now, as I get the names from all those bodies, we will be gazetting the members of the tribunal. I totally agree that uh, we require an oversight body such that such other components uh, can also be handled by this body and not, uh, uh, not uh, neck. So we are in the process of doing that, and uh, uh, I promise that uh, very soon we should be able to have members for that uh, uh, particular uh, 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 appointment. Forensic audit, uh, my friend member of Mandara South, yes, uh, I did specifically indicate uh, the terms of reverence when I did a letter to the CS ICT because uh, uh, they are competent in that area. They have experts, and really where we had a problem or not in the entire exam as such, we own that program on uh, data transmission, and that's why I want answers on that. He has been able to appoint a team. The team has not been able to complete uh, uh, the work as given in our terms of reverence, and uh, immediately the report is out. I will be able to share that particular information with uh, this particular committee on our chairperson, and also uh, with the Kenyans, so that they can be able to know what really happened. Reasons around, yes, I can say as CS have run the reasons, because basically you can see as a ministry, as a neck, everything was right. Here is somebody we can call an outsider who now uh, uh, was given the contract, but did not really uh, uh, conform and do to the required standard. Uh, and of course, uh, moving forward, uh, when we release the KCSC examination, it means we will not be able to use, make use of the same service provider. It means that uh, 
with technology, I'm already engaging ICT. Uh, we see whether we can be able to, to develop a website that the members of the public can be able to access free of charge without even paying uh, uh, one shilling or the 25 shillings. So uh, when we release our uh, uh, KCSE uh, uh, anytime soon, uh, we will either do away with SMS, but we will be able to do uh, another platform all the, all the same. But the school portals, that is the most reliable source because immediately the results are actually transmitted to the school uh, principals and the parents can be able to obtain the research from uh, their respective schools. So even if we come up with an alternative system where, again, uh, parents will be able to access uh, that particular information, is something that uh, uh, I would really like to be convinced and persuaded that it will not also in the car, uh, uh, get into taking cohesions the way we had in this particular one. If you allow me, uh, Chairperson, only to comment that uh, Kenya, uh, and uh, you know the procedure that uh, we have not terminated anybody's contract. I would like to clear the air that nobody's contract has been terminated. Actually, exams each and every year, a contract is made. Each and every year. So, uh, uh, 2016, there was a contract awarded. 2017, a contract awarded. 2021, 2022, 2023. And Kenya not being an exception because we are within the region. What is it that is happening regionally? What is it that is happening in Africa? We are competent enough. We have the capacity that we can be able to print exams here. And the procedure that was followed was right, and I want to assure my friend, uh, uh, Honorable Borero, that uh, nobody's contract was terminated because even the one that did for 2023, it is done on an annual basis. Uh, so we don't give somebody for two years, three years, it will again follow the same uh, process uh, next year. And again, if you look at the Procurement Act, the same that has been applying before the other years is the same that applied for uh, this year 2023. And uh, I will uh, like to comment, and the experts will comment on that. Uh, what was lingering in your, in your minds was the same that was also lingering in my, my mind. That yes, it is multiple choice. It is something that the answer is absolutely like mathematics. Probably the teacher must have taught that topic so well, such that the, the pupils are giving the same answer. But again, we are dealing with 28,533 uh, schools. We are dealing with a candidature of 1,514,000. Such that we have supervisors, honorable uh, chairperson, we have infiltrators, we have security personnel in each and every such school. And we have certificates where they sign. Uh, uh, such that in each and every school they say there was no cheating, there was no malpractice. So when I get this, sometimes you might say uh, there is some kind of circumstantial evidence, but is it really enough for you to convict? Is it really enough for you to say, yes, here there was... Uh, uh, there was something that we required to cancel this particular exam. And when you look at the percentage of this, uh, when you look at the percentage, even taking into other years, is there an exception this year? Because you get that uh, we have the same occurrence as few schools getting identical marks even in other years as we have been able to provide in this answer. But again, uh, as I've said, the technical officers will be able to come into that. I will now specifically, with your permission, Chairperson, uh, around my officers, uh, uh, I will be pointing to them. Dr. Otieno can be able to, the ICT, uh, where is Otieno? I want you to answer, because you are an expert in that, 
this particular issue and all the issues raised on SMS uh, because uh, uh, I think yes, uh, Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chair and uh, 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 CS. I want to respond on the issue of the SMS and uh, just wish to confirm that uh, uh, we issued uh, the service provider with the format that was required uh, for the data in Excel format. And then uh, apart from that, we also gave a sample of uh, uh, the, the text message, the way it was expected to be uh, appearing. Uh, prior to uh, when these results were to be announced, we also uh, did some stress tests, and basically stress tests involves uh, making sure that uh, 